Well, each week we're going to do a top five. We're calling this the K Roos hierarchy. I love it. Okay. Great name. Each week we're going to think of a list to do for the top five. This week's top five. Top five signings of 2023. So players that have signings. moved from a cl one club to another and will be playing for the club in 2023. I'm going to start us off with number five, Reese Walsh. Do you have Reese Walsh in your top five? I'm going to say Reese Walsh in your top five. I like Reese Walsh back to the Broncos. I think, you know, they, they kind of struggled last year with that spark out the back. Tamara Martin was a serviceable fullback, mm -hmm. but he just wasn't an X factor. They needed something to just, you know, add that little extra finesse to their team. Number four. Viliami kick out to the Bulldogs from Penrith. This just adds all the more attack they need on that left side. They, they, apart from having Burden and Fox last year, Bulldogs didn't have much. Now you've got you know, an option in kick out outside of Matt Burden. That's an unbelievable option. And we were at the season launch. Yeah. We've spoken to Cameron Serraldo. Great guy. Unbelievable human being. And what they've said about kick out is, yes, he's a big human being, but he adds a lot as a leader. He's bringing the winning ways from Penrith into Canterbury. Mm. He's changing the club. He's changing the culture. That's why you, why you want like him in your Cameron? top five. We, we saw him at the shoe grab. They just extended their partnership with shoe grab as a, as a main sponsor. Said hello. We had a chat about the preseason. Gave us a time of day. Doesn't need doesn't need to. We, we're at the season launch. We're going to get some content there. We're all just happy to be there. See, see the players that we're are there. We're Bulldogs fans. All of a sudden, someone taps us on the shoulder after he had a great speech on stage. And he just says, boys, how you doing? It's Cameron Serrata. I, I didn't really know what to say to him. I was just so happy that he came and said hello to us. And I just said, mate, great speech up there. Yeah, Thanks I for that. It. Thanks for saying hello. Um, I trust you with the vision for the club. Yeah, yeah. Right. In, in Cam, we trust. Number three, I'm going to go with Brandon Smith. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I, I think Brandon Smith is a bargain for the Roosters. Going to add a lot of value to them. Imagine him, Victor Radley, playing in, you know, in the middle. He could very easily be the best signing of the year. 100%. Very easily. He, he, he'll probably most likely play 80 minutes. Every time he's played hooker for New Zealand, he's been one of the best players on the field. So if he's doing that consistently 26 rounds of the year... He could easily be the best signing. It'll be the first time he'll be playing possibly 80 minutes at hooker, yeah. but he can transition. You know, if players go down, I know Roosters have had a depth problem the last few years. If someone goes down, he can slot into a lock. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's he a great can, signing. He can play off the bench if need be. I so, don't know how you don't have him at number one, but who's one and two? two. Well, number two, uh, again, very biased here, Reid Marnie. That's not bias For the Bulldogs. That's not bias. A quality hooker that I don't think gets enough respect that he deserves. Was in the talks to play... Queensland origin some years ago. Yeah. Can be called up when, when someone goes down. I mean, I don't know how much money he's been signed for, but Parra is stupid for not keeping not him. Not keeping him. I well, mean, yeah, you get Josh Hodgson. They got hands full with Mitch Moses and Dilbert. Still, you've you got you to gotta secure your spine. That's why the Bulldogs, you add Matt Burden, now you get a quality nine in Reid Marnie. Mm. I think fullback, we've got that Hayes Parham playing this week. We'll see how he goes, but I think, still think we need a great Crichton, fullback. Crichton coming in 24. Oh, there you go, so Stephen Crichton. They're building, they're building the spine, but I just like Reid Marnie as a player. He's very... He, he, he makes his tackles in the middle. It's great service out of dummy half. Rarely misses tackles. Uh, you know, he's... I think maybe our, probably our second coming of like a Michael Ennis at the Dogs. It's reported he's only on 600k a year as well, which is a steal. 600,000. Yeah, say power yeah. up. Just, just cough that's, up. That's Gus Whelan and Dylan. You know, I'm surprised he didn't bloody go to the Roosters if he was willing to take that money. <laughs> hey, well, they got Brandon Smith. But number one, I think this is unequivocal and probably at the top of everyone's list. Appy Coruscant to the West Tigers. Probably the best hooker in the comp last season. One was one of the main reasons why Penrith was so strong up the middle. He, he, for the West Tigers to be getting someone like him in their rebuild, probably their best signing in years. Yeah, and it makes you think, again, Penrith, yes, you've won two in a row, but he was probably one of the key pieces of that. Mitch Kenny's got a mm. big shoes to fill. And the Tigers, they're gonna, I think this might catapult them to making the eight. Eight this year? You're dreaming. On, on the back of Coruscant, you know, you can probably yeah, no. give a short ball on the line, get no. the ruck going. He's good, but he's not that good. They don't have enough troops. But what I will say is, what I'm more excited about, with, with Appy Coruscant being there, is the Twile 1. Twile to go over for his first try, now that they got a quality he, hooker. Has he never scored? He's not scored a try all year. Shout out to, uh, what's, what's his name? The Roast, the NRL Roast, who put out a petition that we storm like hard oval. If Twile crosses over for his first try, like we're we did, run. Buddy One Thousand. I, I don't know if we're allowed yet, but the petition's out there. You can go to Change.org to sign it. But uh, he's at one hundred two games as well. He's at one hundred and two games. He's never scored a try. If it happens at Leichhardt, we'll be there at every game at Leichhardt this year to storm the oval. If he goes over, shout out to Alex Twile. I know. I know he's been injured, 
but isn't it a rule among NRL clubs that if you don't score during the season, you've got to really run? Yeah, he's probably, probably done a few. He's done a few he's of done, them? He's done he's hundred, six. He's had six seasons. in 2017, yeah. Yeah. 100, so. 100 games is about five seasons. I think this year is the year that Twile goes over because of Appy Coruscant and we'll be there to storm the field. Uh, I, think his, I think his previous hookers had a bit of a crush on him. And wanted to see him naked run around the No, over. I don't think that. I just, he's just been unlucky. Obviously, last year he lost a lot of games due to injury and the concussion. And he just hasn't gone over. There's forwards, that, there's people that never score tries. I think he's bound to get one now that Appy Coruscant's there.